And we're back with Richard Reviews. Today we're reviewing a book here for richardreviews.com slash griffinchestnut slash richardreviews.com Now, this book is Richard's book, so Richard will be reviewing it for you. And uh, we have uh, the greatest privilege to be re- reading this book. As per usual, this is uh, one of part of Richard's collection. Richard has a vast collection of books, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. This book that we will be reviewing today, Richard will be reviewing for us, is titled On the Road by Jack Kerouac, and this is one of his um, most popular pieces um, that Jack Kerouac came about as the leading light of the Beats uh, champion generation that was lyrical in the intensity of the most famous book on the road, which uses a rhythm of jazz to capture the experience of, you know, certain aesthetic elements. This book opened the eyes of a lot of people that really wanted to become illiterate and uh, basically narrow-minded in the mainstream American society. Now, Richard does approve of this book. We're going to take a look at the piece itself. So this piece right here has your standard brimwall piece, as you can see. Classic shine on the top, nice shine on the bottom. Uh, it's got a it's got a deritory fiber. So the uh, the cover, of course, is your classic um, Jack Kerouac, who has faith and family, uh, both uh, prominent species of the life, his childhood, faith and family is a recurring f- foundation part of this. Um, he grew up in uh, Massachusetts in 1922, so there is some, some style to his swag, as you can tell from the book. Uh, let's check out the back piece over here, so we'll get a, uh, a prefecture on the price, and we got a $16 US. Canadian 1850, okay, so there's your standard um, Jack Kerouac novel right there for you, $16, so Richard made off pretty well with this, um, he did very well, he, he got he got this at a good price, Richard, uh, we're going to look at the side, Jack Kerouac on the road, so on the road by Jack Kerouac, we're going to open it up and take a look inside now, uh, this is Richard's um, prized possession. As you can tell, it's a very gleedy piece. It's very gleedy, and you can tell through all the pages that it's very, very gleedy. Now we're going to stop here and read as he goes, Damn, I yelled into the wind, Cheyenne, but here I come, without cracking a smile. This is pure. This is the purity. This is about football. This is about love. This is about scholarship, this is about desperate times, this is about lifesavers, and this is about print shops. This is about successful people. Now, if you want a total page count, I can give that to you. Up here, 300, yeah, 301, we're going to round it out at 310, at a solid 310. Now, the piece itself is nice and prim. Uh, The cream is nice, there's no brim wall. Uh, the wave is real, definitely a real wave, as you can see. Almost a full 360, which is very, very impressive. Um, good bend, as you can hear it. Good bend. That's good bend right there. This is a good piece. This is a great piece. Um, this is Richard's prime piece of On the Road by Jack Kerouac. Uh, this is a, this has to do a lot with uh, football, and um, Richard is not the biggest fan of football, so this caught Richard off guard because this novelist is an aspiring person. Suffice to say, um, Jack Kerouac is a bit of a tarnish Kremlin, and the the tarnish part in Jack really does star strim, and it's star strim because it it brights brim. So Jack's bright brim really does fall short on the liquid metal, and the liquid metal does feel like a bit of a lubricated passive emotion, which does formulate on top of different synthetic 
inquisitions such as um, jazz, formidable beat generations, and desperate hiking abilities throughout the Catskills, uh, Mississippi River, uh, Route 66, which is the desperate custom delvage route that Jack took in most of this book. Um, he, he will be following up this review with um, Jack Kerouac's latest piece, uh, the one he did after On the Road, uh, Big Sur, which you can find on Richard's channel on um, griffinchestnut.com. And uh, we hope to see you soon. And uh, keep checking in on richardreviews.com slash griffinchestnut. This is Richard Reviews. Thank you and goodbye.